Standing there. You daydreaming or thinking something over? Yes, I did send someone to fetch you. But as for what I'd like to discuss next, well, I still have some reservations. Mm -hmm. Given that we've already made the trip here, you should just tell us. Bet you need us to help you with something, right? I do indeed have something I'd like to ask you to do. However, you should wait until after I tell you the details, then decide for yourselves whether you'd like to help or not. At least he gave the us a choice. Is this. this is very new for Genshin. It has come to my attention that the Snezhnayan Harbinger known as the Knave wants a diplomatic meeting with you, correct? I heard that she was originally from Fontaine, but for her to suddenly arrive here and abruptly request such a meeting like this, I sincerely advise you to refuse her invitation outright. Hmm. I'm sure you're aware that her purpose is most likely related to Child's recent predicament. We convicted one of the Snezhnayan Harbingers in a court of law, but we have yet to provide any form of detailed report on the matter. This does indeed provide an opportunity for Snezhnaya to put pressure on us. I believe we should adopt an evasive stance until we can provide a proper explanation and have a preliminary plan on how to deal with the matter. No, we shouldn't. I think we should agree to the meeting. Okay. Well, you see, we are the ones that owe an explanation. If we keep putting off the meeting, it could easily result in the problem escalating, right? It's like... like a fight between two friends. If they don't agree to see each other and talk in person, isn't it possible that the friendship could end entirely? Though diplomatic relations between Fontaine and Snezhnaya could be considered as friendly, it is only superficially so. You wouldn't go so far as to say that our nations are friends, as you did in your example. Are they friends? I don't know. Th that sounds very weird coming from Farina. I thought she'd just say no. <sighs> it was just an analogy. An analogy, okay? Moreover, even if we were to talk in person, if we don't have sufficient information prepared, it is quite possible the result wouldn't be restored relations, but a complete falling out. Hmm. I don't think we should overthink those possibilities yet. <clears throat> even if the logic of the divine is not immediately apparent, its wisdom will only be revealed with time. Okay. Besides, you'll be at the meeting. If any problems do pop up, you'll have no problem navigating them. I must clarify that interacting and communicating with people outside of court is not my cup of tea. It seems you think too much of me. But more importantly, when did I agree to join the meeting with you? <laughs> No, 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 that, that won't do. I can't go to the meeting alone. You have to accompany me. I must take you with me. I was I was literally just wondering why she hasn't been dramatic yet. But I guess that explains it. Lady Farina, could there be something else regarding this matter that is being kept from me? No, not at all. Look. I am the Hydro Archon of Fontaine, Thosalor, the god of justice who is loved and adored by many. Oh my god. So I only hope that justice will be served in this matter. Don't overthink it. I'll go find someone to arrange the meeting. <sighs> Though oh. it could officially be considered a diplomatic conference, I prefer to see our meeting today as an ordinary tea party. 
I assume you see it the same way, Miss Farina. I I need a picture of that. I thought we'd see her later, Tam. Hmm. Lady Farina. Uh, oh, <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. Just like you said, a tea party. <laughs> I should thank you for providing the pastries. They look delectable. To make this tea party even more lively, I've invited someone else to join us today. It's a pleasure to meet you, Monsieur Nuvillette. I was born in Fontaine, so naturally, there's no need to introduce the nation's revered Eudex to me. She sounds so friendly. I... It, it seems weird. Hello. The pleasure is also mine. First, I would like to thank the two of you. I'm often away on business outside of Fontaine, and I'm told that the children of the House of the Hearth have been well taken care of by you. Uh... Oh, I'm not referring to when my children, Linny and Lynette, were falsely accused by you. Please don't misunderstand. The children of the House of the Hearth are often misunderstood, perhaps due to the reputation of the Fatui. There's no getting around that. All I meant to say is that Fontaine has been stable in recent years. The people are well off and the children lead happy, fulfilled lives. That is something truly worth cherishing. And no one wishes to disrupt such peace. Now then, you have come regarding the matter of child, correct? Well, yes. It appears the ever-busy Udex Nouvellet doesn't wish to waste time with diplomatic pleasantries, <laughs> and hopes that we can get straight to the point of our talk. Mm -hmm. Yes, as you surmised, understanding child's situation is indeed one of the goals of this trip. As we are both diplomats from Snezhnaya, as well as Fatui Harbingers, Child and I have always been colleagues. Were anything to happen in Fontaine, each of us would serve as the other's attorney mm. to resolve the issue. So now, in my capacity as his attorney, I request that Child be turned over to Snezhnaya. We have a responsibility to cooperate with Fontaine and resolve what has happened to him together. The rules governing attorneys only apply before a trial has concluded. Since a verdict has already been rendered, we see the case as settled. I apologize for being unable to grant your request. An outright refusal. Very well. I respect all the rules of Fontaine's courts, just as I respect you as Chief Justice. Okay, mm. why don't we back up a step? You don't need to transfer child to us. I only request to enter the fortress of Meripede to see child and confirm his condition. It's not like you couldn't even manage to fulfill a simple request like that. Right, Miss Farina? Uh, um, about that. Why is Farina scared of our Lucina? The fortress of Meripede I mean, she is has scary. always been completely autonomous. Even we have no authority to interfere there, and diplomatic issues do not suffice as an excuse. However, if you absolutely must confirm the situation of the Harbinger, I have a proposal. Mm hmm The knave showed up already? Well, Linny did say that father <laughs> will be returning soon. We didn't even know that Lenny was from the House of the Hearth at the time, so we kind of overlooked that information. Yeah, the knave won't be easy. But then, wait, if Arlecchino is going, why are we going to spy on her? Yeah, we're saying please be careful. Yep. Yes, thank you for your kind advice. 
I'm well aware of the situation. I also notice that Lady Farina acts a little odd and unnatural whenever I See? bring up matters related to the name. This is what I am saying too. It's it's weird. Like she usually acts like a brat, right? But somehow, even when she was suggesting that they meet Arlequino, you know, she's the one who convinced Navillet to do it. And after that, the knave seemed to have some sort of like how do I say this, you know? It, it's like she was pressuring Furina without really doing it outwardly. It's very weird. Like, Furina isn't the kind of person who would take this, right? I don't know. Could the knave be threatening yeah. Lady Farina or something? It does seem that way. If that were the case, then why wouldn't Lady Farina inform me? And what means could the knave possibly have to twist the arm of an Archon? Hmm, true. Maybe she knows something that, like, Furina wants that she should not know. I don't know. Maybe she has some information that she can hold as, like, leverage, but who knows. Hmm. So maybe that's not very likely. Hmm. Even though Farina can act a little weird at times, she's still an Archon. Yep. In reality, this problem is even more thorny than it appears. According to reports from the Fortress of Meripede, Child recently disappeared under mysterious circumstances. What? Wow, they couldn't keep him. The details are still unclear. We cannot rule out an escape, but there have also been no reports of him outside of the Fortress of Meripede. Wow. Special guards oversee the fortress, and its internal systems are extensive. Combined with the special characteristics of the surrounding terrain, an escape should not be possible. <laughs> I suspect that there's something else behind Child's disappearance. What do you mean he's disappeared? Did he dissolve or something? But he's not from Fontaine, right? So he can't. I was only willing to share this information with you because you are friends of Child. Mm. And it is my duty to see justice done. Yep, we are friends with so him. So this is what you wanted to see us about before. Yes. I would like you to go to the Fortress of Meripede and investigate Child's disappearance. Oh. This was my proposal during our meeting with the Knave. Rather than allowing her to intervene, I offered to send someone to find out about Child's situation and report back to her in detail. Hmm. What if Arlequino's goal was to get into the Fortress of Meropir? So, the, this whole child getting arrested thing is like one of the ploys in it. I don't know, I feel like getting in is important here. The knave did not seem satisfied See? by my proposal, but she still agreed to go along with it for the time being. Her words were, we will talk more once we have that report. I think she just wants to get in. So that means we bought ourselves some time. Yeah, why, yeah, why do you want us to go? Firstly, you're already acquainted with child. Your eyes may discern relevant details there that others would miss. And secondly, is the consideration of the unique nature of the Fortress of Meripede. Mm -hmm. Isn't it just Fontaine's prison? I would not define it so crudely. The Fortress of Meripede is not affiliated with the court system of Fontaine on paper. It has always existed as an autonomous entity. Early in Fontaine's history, criminals were punished with exile, not imprisonment. Even today, Sentences against convicted criminals still include exile, just as before. Mm -hmm. The Fortress of Meripede may seem like a prison, but it should in fact be regarded as a gathering place for exiles. All we do is dispatch guards to keep watch and help maintain security, but we have no right to get involved with any other matters. Although I do have a personal relationship with the administrator there, Neither myself nor the courts have the right to be directly involved with the investigation, no matter how serious the grounds. Mm -hmm. Oh, Paima gets it now. That's why you need us to conduct our own investigation as a third party, right? Yeah, that we got. Correct. I will arrange false charges <laughs> against you so that you may secretly investigate inside the fortress during your detention. Yep, time to this get will jailed. This us a lot of unnecessary trouble. So... Are you too willing to accept my proposal? Wow, since you're in such a tough spot, no, I don't want to say that. Child is our friend. Yeah, no matter how you look at it, it seems we're 
you're the best choice. All right, we hereby accept this difficult task. Uh, reluctantly. You two have my sincere thanks. This matter is of critical importance to Fontaine's current situation. Also, I hope that both of you can keep this operation a secret. Yeah, Paimon's the one who's gonna blab first, actually. We will rendezvous at the Fortress of Meropede's entrance on Erinaeus once you've prepared yourselves. I will arrange for someone to take you inside. Prepared ourselves? Uh, is there something we need to prepare? Perhaps you could enjoy a good meal and have a nice bath. I'm afraid that living conditions inside the fortress are nothing like those on the outside world. Alright! Even though we'll be there on trumped up charges, we'll be in prison for real. Yep. Uh, on second thought, is it too late to back out? <laughs> we already agreed. Please do not worry. Since you are sacrificing both your time and quality of life for the sake of delivering this report, mm -hmm. you will be compensated according to the highest standards permitted to legal staff, regardless of the outcome. Okay. Now that's more like it! Come on, traveler! Let's go eat the best meal we can find! We'll eat so much that we won't need to eat another meal for a whole month! Your treat! Are you leaving now? <laughs> In that case, please take this cake as a token of my personal gratitude. Is that the cake Arlecchino brought? Okay. Is the cake still there? No, it's not. Oh, no need to thank me for it. Just be sure to enjoy it. Okay. Go to Cafe Lucerne. Okay. <laughs> I I feel like Arlequino's plan was to infiltrate the prison. That's why Child is arrested. I don't think... But then how could she control the oratrice's judgment, right? Hmm. Like, I, I feel like she personally wanted to go there. That that can't be for nothing. I'll have that and that. Oh, and one of those two. Ooh, and no Fanta, thank you. <laughs> no Fanta, nice. Didn't you just finish the cake, yep? That cake was pretty good. But as soon as Paimon remembered that we're about to go to prison, Paimon's stomach suddenly became completely empty. Now that Paimon thinks about it, we've always been super careful ever since we arrived in Fontaine. <laughs> breaking any strange laws here but here we are about to willingly send ourselves off to the fortress of meropede hmm, maybe this is what they call fate <laughs> <sighs> let's just try our best to investigate it's our fate to go to, to jail Paimon doesn't want to stay in prison too long okay oh someone's taking pictures of us oh what is that i hear is it the taste of a breaking story? <laughs> hey! You can't hear a taste! And what are you doing here, Charlotte? Oh, don't remind me. I invited an eyewitness to a case to eat here, and I was planning to get some great material out of him. But he didn't even show up! <laughs> ah, calm down, calm down. This is nothing new. As a journalist, you should be used to this by now. As long as you can score some juicy tidbits from the traveler, you might still be able to recover the cost of the meal. Uh, you know we can still hear you, Charlotte. <laughs> uh, never mind, it's nothing. I just heard you mention the Fortress of Meripede. You didn't commit a crime, did you? Please tell me all about it. What if Linny did something to the Oratress when he was there, and he doesn't even know what he did? But he gave Nave the power to control the Oratress. Listen, something definitely happened there and i think that is definitely connected to like child being pronounced guilty because clearly uh arlequino needed an excuse to go and see furina and novelet right they were that whole meeting seems to be like something so because child was arrested they had no choice but to avoid uh like refusing her right they had to meet her so if if Arlequino orchestrated all of it, she got to meet them, then she would get to go to the 
fortress of Meropede as well. But it didn't work out because Novelet was like, no, I'll send someone else. It's possible. This is like my theory as of now. No way! We would never! We're just going there to... What? Paimon is literally... She... I, I can't. How many, how many times? We're going to serve our sentences and redeem ourselves. Yeah. Huh? You're being arrested for that? Yep. Oh, but now that I think about it, I suppose that's not completely unreasonable. That's pretty despicable. Almost as offensive as committing theft. See, spoilers is a, like, a jailable offense. That's what it is. We're going there to have a dance party, sure. Oh, shut up. Sorry, Paima really messed up. <laughs> uh, well, in that case, it's nothing particularly newsworthy after all. Oh, how disappointing. All oh, right, there's still a chance. Uh, since you're going to be at the Fortress of Meripede, would you be willing to help me gather some material for a story? Um, about that, uh, Paima doesn't think we'll have any time. It's nothing difficult. All you have to do is think of a way to get some time face to face with the warden of the fortress. Ooh, Risley. He was awarded the honorary title of Duke in Fontaine. Sounds really cool, huh? Only those who have made significant contributions to the nation have been conferred this title. It's incredibly rare. On top of that, the fortress of Meripede has never been under the jurisdiction of the courts. Practically nobody, including journalists like me, knows anything about the person in charge there. Oh, if I could write an exclusive article about him, I bet it would sell a boatload of papers. You make it sound easy, but it really depends. Of course, I wouldn't ask you to do it for free. So this meal is on me. Wow, bribe with right, food. You've got a deal. We'll do anything you want. <laughs> then it's settled. The food should be here any second, right? Huh? Wait, just how much did you order? <laughs> she should never have bribed us with food. Oh, so well, guess we have nothing to regret now, so let's get going! God, we gotta find our way, right? This is the entrance? To the fortress of Meripede? Uh, wait. Hi, Renny. Hello. I just said something really ominous. Hi, B. Hmm. What is. How is this the entrance to the fortress of Meripede? Just as promised. Yes, this is the one and only entrance to the fortress of Meripede from Erinaeus. Careful. Is it a lift? I want to step back a bit. Okay. Whoa! So you have to go down from here? Ooh. Is the prison underwater? Utilizing both the barrier of the water as well yeah, as the Yeah, it's right in front of the court, the right? Depths. Yeah. True, true. The fortress of Meripede is naturally the perfect place to confine and guard criminals. But do not worry. It is not nearly as frightening inside as you may think. You will see for yourselves once you are down there. Uh, Paimon hopes you're right. Don't know about you, but just thinking about being at the bottom of the sea like that gives Paimon the heebie-jeebies. Oh, and there's one more thing. I mentioned that I have had personal dealings with the administrator of the fortress, Rithesley. He's a very... Personal dealing? ...fellow. Yeah, we are. <laughs> him too he's that duke right correct he is the highest ranking manager of the underwater prison 
Even though you are going there to investigate at my behest, it would behoove you to avoid any confrontation with him or any of his subordinates. The Duke rarely ever leaves the Fortress of Meripede, but that does not mean he is not privy to all that is happening inside and outside the Fortress. He is quiet, but not unaware, so please bear that in mind. Okay. All right. It's about all the time that we have to talk privately. I'm counting on you two. We can't see Novelette again. We won't let you down. Good. <clears throat> Madeline. I'm here, Monsieur Nervalet. These two are the newest convicts, I presume. <laughs> Don't worry, they won't escape <laughs> on my watch. Okay. <laughs> like we would try. Please follow me, you two. I'll process your paperwork for entering the fortress of Meripede. Involvement in other quests. No. What, what is this? Continuing the current quest may cause parts of the following quest to become occupied. Progress cannot be made. No. I would continue current quest. Oh. Okay. That was not meant to happen. I think it's like uh, some parts of this are involved in another quest. So they're like, do you want to do this first or do you are want to suspend it? Huh. So this is what it feels like to be a criminal in Fontaine. You two seem to be taking this pretty well. <laughs> it's rare to see convicts in such a good mood. Wow, this place, this place looks scary, not gonna lie. But it's okay, we'll explore later. Yeah, that's good, right? We can continue quest, I feel the same. <sighs> oh, it's you, Madeline. Why'd they make you make the trip down here today? Monsieur Nervalet personally requested I escort these two convicts. I suppose he was concerned others might not be up to the task. <laughs> well now, aren't you the lucky one? Must be nice to be on good terms with the big shots like the Chief Justice. The only people I get to see every day are the new inmates. Well, have you tried service with a smile? Who knows, it might help your professional reputation. <laughs> Yeah, right. As if. Every criminal comes oh, through no, here she hits her job. Relatable. How can I smile with such a toxic work environment? And even if I did smile at them, the convicts would probably just think that I'm some freak getting some kind of twisted enjoyment from their pain. Oh, she's got a point. Well, I've finished transferring you. You two will register here and Moret will guide you through the remaining procedures. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yep, I'll take it from here. You head on back to that bright and sunny world above. Okay, let me see. You are the Traveler and Paimon, correct? Yep. That would be us! Let me confirm your charges and sentence. Let's yeah, what see. are we charged with? You two are charged with... Eating a cake specially prepared for the Archon by a Snezhnayan envoy without the Archon's permission, thereby incapacitating I knew the political it. I knew the cake was the one that <laughs> our Lukito gave us. 45 days? See, that's the cake Navalit gave us. I saw it when they met as well. Wow. That's smart, not gonna lie. <laughs> huh? Wait. You mean the cake what a that twist. Nervalet gave us was... He was never on our side. Just looking at the charges, it seems you two are capable of causing some serious trouble. Because <laughs> we ate a cake? Excuse me? And considering how fond Lady Furina is of sweets, <laughs> this crime is tantamount to trying to assassinate the Hydro Archon herself. 
what what is happening <laughs> okay you really have an eye for criminals yep yep now i've seen everything <laughs> anyway we still need to finish processing you before you can enter the fortress wild. of Maripede. please stand in front of the board over there i'll take your mug shots with my camera oh my oh, all right got the but mug shots sure What have we come to? What has life become? And we're done. Thank you for your cooperation. Next, someone will be along to guide you inside the fortress. Please be sure to cherish this opportunity for rebirth. Huh? Rebirth? Isn't that a little much? We're only gonna be here for 45 days! You two are the new inmates, right? Follow me. Oh, okay! Paimon is Paimon and this is the Traveler! Save it. Not like I'll remember your names. Move it. Wow. No one's sweet in the prison. How surprising. Oh damn, another it's like an aqua bus for <laughs> for the prison. <laughs> yeah, we did everything right and they still took us in, yeah. Damn. Not gonna lie, I I like that there is a nice mode of transportation inside. Pretty pretty chill. Oh, damn. So, are the music. you one of the guards here? Um, is there anything we should be careful of while we're here? Uh, did Paimon already ask something she wasn't supposed to? Is he angry? Why should I tell you anything? What's in it for me? Okay. Uh Ooh. why were you sent to bring us in, yep. This is exactly why I can't stand you fish. I wouldn't even be doing this if it weren't for the credit coupons. Credit coupons? Okay. Alright, seeing as you're not the annoying kind that's getting dragged in here crying and blubbering, I guess I can tell you a few things. The next time It'll cost you some coupons. Mora means nothing here. Here, we use credit coupons. Coupons can get you almost anything in the fortress of Meripede. Desires? Fulfilled. You want power? No problem. Coupons can even change fate itself. So, Damn. credit coupons are a currency that can only be used here? It's not as simple as that. Like Moret said, Everyone gets a chance at rebirth. No matter how much money or power you had before, it means nothing once you set foot inside the fortress of Meripede. You have to start over and earn your coupons. Everyone starts from the same place, and you have a chance at a new, less terrible life. I guess that's the real purpose of the coupons. They symbolize true fairness and true justice. And this is also exactly why so many criminals choose not to return to the outside world even after they've served their sentence. Oh, thank you for so the sub, Jensen. That's what the fortress of Maripede is like. Huh. Paimo was under the impression that it'd be more like a prison. It certainly ain't all sunshine and roses here, but it's also not the worst place to be. You'd better take a good look at the scenery now. It'll be the last chance you get for a while. After being away from the sunlight for so long, even the terrifying depths of the sea start to feel like home. It just stops feeling oppressive. It know? is pretty view. Oh, I'm actually an inmate like you two. Welcoming newcomers is a job I've picked up to earn some extra oh, coupons. He's not a guard. That makes sense. Yeah, have you... Actually, you know what? I want to ask about child first. Why aren't you answering us 
again. I've told you enough for free. Any more info is gonna cost you. So all you care about is Mora! Wait, no. Coupons? Almost there. It's down through here. Your turn to give it a try. Okay. Where's this guy? We gotta follow him, right? The music is so good, by the way. a metaphor for your previous life, isn't it? Uh, our lives weren't that bad. It's so dark inside. Hmm. So this is the actual entrance to the fortress of Meribede? Huh. It looks like there are other new arrivals too. Oh, they sure don't look happy. Uh, maybe we look too relaxed <laughs> for fresh convicts. Yeah. How do you even think about something sad true? Oh, right. We're on someone else's territory now. Uh, we need to think of a good way to act like criminals to get by. If we're discovered, even Nervalette might not be able to rescue us. Hey! Don't scare Paimon! Oh, Paimon's not ready for all this! Uh, look, I don't really know you, and I have no idea what kind of crime you committed, but... You wouldn't have happened to anger someone important, did you? This is a good time but to like make up shit. Someone important? Hmm, Paimon doesn't think so. Uh, wait, why are you suddenly trying to talk to us now? Now's not the time to worry about that. Anyway, it's over there, so you just go on over there by yourselves. I've done my job, so good luck. Okay. What was that all about? Uh, Wait a second. Are there usually so many garter backs around here? They're already on to us? We got a fight? Prisoners numbers 7459 and 7560. Welcome. Oh, no need to be anxious. These garter backs aren't here to attack you. In fact, they're here as your honor guard. When I heard that you were friends of Monsieur Nervillette, I had the guard mechs come and wait in formation. Wait, Dad. you know about our connection with Nervalette? The seafloor isn't as cut off from the world as you might imagine. However, I'm afraid that I know nothing more than that you are friends of the Udex. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, committing a crime means being sentenced here. Even if you're friends with the Chief Justice. Quite fair. Now you must be Duke. The, the Duke? Uh, greetings, Your Grace. L lovely weather today, isn't it? Oh, greetings, my good fellow. Well, I'm willing to imagine that the weather is as good outside the sea as you say it is. <laughs> ah, how great it would have been if only the fortress of Meripede had been built on the coast, huh? It would have been so convenient to enjoy a nice chat in the sunshine. Ah, my profuse apologies. I just got so nervous when I saw you, I just... So this is the Duke. He sure mm. looks a lot younger than Paimon imagined. The Traveler and Paimon, correct? Mr. Deacon here was responsible for your welcome. I trust you were satisfied with his guidance? Can we say something? I, I, you know what, I'll be nice. 
Outstanding. Well, Deacon, I recall we discussed fate during our last work meeting, hmm? I believe that fate will reward all those who take every aspect of their work and life seriously. When you return to your bunk, you'll find the guards have issued some extra credit coupons to you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Your Grace. Oh, and you too. I can't believe you gave me such praise. If you need anything in the future, anything, please, come find me anytime. No credit coupons necessary. Well, I believe that concludes the introductions. We've already taken enough time here. Deacon, if you would. <laughs> He's asking me to yes, leave. Your Grace. Yeah. I'll take my leave now. Please, follow me. To make you feel more welcome, I'll show you around the various facilities of the Fortress of Meripede. I hope it'll help you adjust to life here. Yes, early stream so that we can finish the Archon quest because I know it'll be really long. Yeah, I want to finish all of it today, right? So I will split it up and do it. He's going to personally give us a cure? Huh. Hyman can't figure out what this guy's thinking at all. Yeah. I think he knows no a lot. No wonder Charlotte's so interested in him. He's one of those mysterious types. Alright, let's keep up with him. At the coupon cafeteria, okay. Damn. <laughs> There's no need to be so reserved. There's the a very cool cafeteria inside the prison. One of many identities, and being criminally inclined here at the fortress is just one of many ways to survive. Uh, is it really okay for the warden to think like that? We're real criminals, you know. What if we're too difficult to handle? I have a feeling he's a criminal too, like. He just happens to be the dupe because he managed to like climb up the ranks. Well, then maybe you'll be able to carve out a name and a place for yourselves in this underwater world, hmm? But before you go in swinging, please remember that in the fortress of Meripede, it's better to not cause trouble for yourself or for the guards. Now, we've arrived at a very important place, the Coupon Cafeteria. You can come here and claim one welfare meal each day. Welfare meal? You mean, it doesn't cost anything? That's right. Criminals are essential to fortress operations, so we must guarantee that they at least have the basic means to survive. Hmm. <laughs> but that's not how it was. Back in the day, it cost your reward coupons just to get a cup of water Woozy. here. For fish like you who just arrived with nothing, mm. you have to go to work hungry until you earned enough coupons to eat. It was only after His Grace became the administrator that we got the free meal rule. Now everyone gets a square meal every day. Even no good slackers who've never picked up a wrench in their whole lives. Nobody starves to death here. In the Fortress of Meripede, credit coupons are the only currency, and everything must be purchased. In some sense, you could say using the coupons is a form of trade. But trade is always conducted by people. So if we want trade here to prosper, we need everyone to work hard and live their lives. If nobody could even afford a meal, then the whole fortress would be up in arms. And that would only make things more difficult for me. Sure. So, rather than saying that we're giving everyone a free meal here, you should say that everyone's hard work has improved the living conditions in the fortress of Meripede. Your Grace's reasoning is correct, but what I said is also true. Mm -hmm. Whatever the case, hard work is rewarded here. You'd be hard-pressed to find anywhere else as fair and reasonable. Right! Pyron sees your point. By that logic, this place doesn't seem so bad after all! Oh, wait, no. We shouldn't drop our guard so quickly. But it seems the inmates really respect the Duke because of his attitude, right? Hmm. We should still try to verify the truth with our own eyes. Let's continue this way. We're such important people, like the Duke is giving us a whole tour. <laughs> Wait, where is it?
This place is known as the Pancration Ring. Sometimes we have criminals who have more energy than they know what to do with. Their daily work alone isn't enough of an outlet for them. So, instead of leaving them to their own devices, we've provided them with this dedicated venue. This way, nobody will get involved unless they want to be. Pancration matches? And you can earn extra coupons? Oh, what do you think, Traveler? Interested? But I must warn you that your sentence will be extended if you fail to restrain yourself and end up seriously injuring or killing your opponent. <laughs> In that case, I, what a flex. <laughs> so, did you set this place up too? No, actually. I just granted approval for the organizer to use this area to build the ring, and I collect a portion of the proceeds in return. Of course, the fees are also quite useful. Oh. Do you mind if we ask what they're used for? Sure. Ensuring personal safety, maintaining the arena, and resolving any conflicts that arise. Why? Are you interested in how to manage a pancration ring? <laughs> oh, no, no. I'm always just wondering if that's how you paid for everyone's welfare meals. A reasonable guess. I see you have a talent for entrepreneurship. Damn. Oh, you hear that? Paimon has a talent! So we can start a business here? <laughs> that is something you can discuss between yourselves later. What? Let's move on for now. Paimon's so easily swept up, okay? It's... <laughs> Why is she so smart? Higher. Is there a lift we can use to go? Huh. Oh yes, there is our lift. We will take it and go. The first waypoint we've gotten here. Uh, your, your Grace. Good morning. I mean, good afternoon. No, wait. What time is it again? What time, indeed? Time waits for no one, so it's best to keep an eye on it. Ah, uh, my, my apologies, Your Grace. Jeez, that guy's so nervous he almost forgot to breathe. <sighs> Sorry, <laughs> forgive my manners. Poor These guy, are the he's so scared. Which is where inmates sleep. The guards will inform you where your bunk is later. In the Fortress of Meripede, criminals usually spend most of their time in either the production zone or the sleeping areas. The production zone? What does it produce? Is that where we'll be working? Not necessarily. Though working in the production zone is the most reliable way to earn credit coupons. If you have other skills, you can skip your shifts to earn them in other ways. Wow. Wait, you're the manager of this place and you're just telling us to our faces that it's okay to Work? The fact that the Fortress of Meripede has continued operating completely autonomously is proof enough that most people are willing to work honestly and earn a stable income. As for what we produce, many of the clockwork machines seen all over Fontaine originate from our workshop. Mm. Therefore, the Fortress of Meripede is not only a place where criminals serve their sentences, but also a giant machine factory. There's no need for me to get into specifics about the production process now. You'll experience it all firsthand when you report for work tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on. The tour continues over this way. Uh, Linny? <laughs> mm. 
why is he just why is he just casually like there uh, oh. uh, oh. uh, hi hi oh uh, you really scared me there i didn't expect to see you here uh, your grace I thought maybe I was so tired from work that I was starting to see things. <laughs> he's just the only thing you should be seeing is having his morning walk too. Stay focused and keep up the pace. Oh, is something the matter? Uh, <laughs> it's nothing. Paimon's just worried about how hard we'll have to work tomorrow. <laughs> I guess Arlequino sent him. To the music here. I love it. Ooh. It's the melusine. Your Grace? What are you doing in the infirmary at a time like this? Yourself, did you? Not yet, unfortunately for you. But thank you for your concern, Siege Ween. Siege Ween. <laughs> yes, the evolved Melusine. Yep. Allow me to introduce you. This is the infirmary, and Siege Ween here is the fortress of Meripede's head nurse. <laughs> Hello, new faces. They call me the head nurse, but I actually handle all the nurse related work all by myself down here. Since you seem to have some rare downtime with no patience, perhaps you could find the time to join us for dinner? Oh, then these two must be some important convicts. <laughs> sure, I'll join the welcome party. The welcome party, let's go. Thank you. Your presence will be the pièce de résistance for today's tour. Oh, so the tour part is over now? I believe I've already covered the primary aspects of life here in the fortress. As for your work, there'll be someone else to guide you through the details. Hmm. Is there anything else? I seldom conduct tours, so why don't you just ask if you have any questions? Uh, well, this is your first time here. Paimon's not sure what to ask. Then let's head back to the coupon cafeteria. Maybe a meal will help you think up some questions. You should at least try to be excited. Our free meals are actually pretty good here. Okay. I wonder what kind of food you get in a prison. Rosalino? Okay. Kid. <laughs> Oh no. Are we stuck? Ah! Wait a second. This is not where we came from, right? Imagine having prison food <laughs> being better than the cafe one. That would be horrible. But it's possible, I don't know. There's gotcha for the food as well. It actually has nothing to do with luck in this case. I had a word with Walsey, so you didn't have to draw lots like everyone else. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean the meals are random? Wow. Well. Yes, what you get to eat depends completely on your luck. You could say that it's a distasteful little game that Chef Walsey likes to play here in the cafeteria. I'm a new age. If criminals got to eat tasty food like this every meal, <laughs> the crime rate in Fontaine would... For sure. 
Excuse me, did I hear you mention yeah. Nervulet just now? Oh, I've been wondering how he's doing. Is he busy with work? Has he been taking care of his health? He seems healthy no matter how you look at him. But he works so hard all the time, so it must be really tiring. It sounds like he hasn't changed a bit. Looks like you can stop worrying so much, Sejuin. Oh, that's good. But I still feel like it's been too long since I've heard any news about him. No news is good news. Maybe next time I've got something to discuss with him, I can invite you to accompany us. Hmm? But isn't the Fortress of Meropede independent from Fontaine's court system? What do you two have to discuss? Yeah, what do you two have well, to discuss? we provide all kinds of mechanical products for official use, and some essential goods have to be obtained from the overworld, so we naturally have to stay in touch about this and that. This and Monsieur that. Monsieur Nivellet's character is unimpeachable. No matter the question, you can discuss it openly and freely with him. Talking with him feels quite effortless. In light of that, I am quite willing to go out of my way to show respect and accommodate him. In fact, right now, I'm treating you two as guests invited by Monsieur Nivellet. But unfortunately, I can only do so until the end of this meal. After <laughs> this, you two will just be inmates here. What is the next day going to be like? Yeah, thank you for your hospitality. You're very well, your new life awaits. We're gonna get beaten up very badly. Okay. Return to the dormitory. Fine, we'll go. the Riz realm. <laughs> True. Traveler and Paimon, right? Listen up. As new inmates, the only thing you need to worry about is what to do and when to do it. Don't make any extra trouble for yourself. Mm -hmm. Your bunks are right over there. Follow me. This isn't so bad. <sighs> So this is where we'll be sleeping from now on? Oh, Paimon can't believe this! Oh, the days of staying home and reading detective stories are like a dream now. Uh, by the way, Traveler, we saw a lot of things worth investigating just now. Even though the Duke didn't say it too directly, judging from what he said at the end, it seems that he was only welcoming because we know Nouvellet. We are criminals, and Paimon did eat that cake, but we're actually here to help Nervalet. Hmm. Is it possible that he knows we're here on a mission? Or Obviously. is Paimon overthinking things? Yeah, Paimon thinks so too. He probably knew why we came here from the very beginning and intentionally wanted to send us a message. Maybe something like... Hey, I have my eyes <laughs> on you, so don't try anything funny. <laughs> what kind of impression is that? It would be nice if we can recruit members to join our gang. Yeah. Maybe we'll cause right. a revolution in the it's prison. Not like we can go back to Nivellet empty-handed and say the dude looks scary, so we gave up. Uh, and besides, the Duke said that he was willing to go out of his way to show respect for Nivellet, right? So. We at least need to try. But Hyman hasn't gotten a clue where we should start our investigation. You mean... Yeah, Linny. What about Linny? Yeah, that's what Paimon was thinking too. Paimon 
almost spilled the beans when we ran into him. Fortunately, based on his attitude, it looks like the Duke sees Linny as just another inmate. We worked so hard to help clear Linny and Lynette's names, and yet we turn around and BAM! He's in prison anyway! No, he's probably sent by Arlecchino though. Oh, right! Linny and Lynette are from the House of the Hearth. They work for the Knaves, so they could be here to investigate too! Huh? Oh, oh, it's a card! Paimon didn't notice it earlier. Hmm. It looks like a magician's prop. Lenny must have left it here. He's in prison and still doing his little tricks, huh? Let Paimon have a look. It was nice to bump into you again. Let's catch up in the production zone tomorrow. What in the world? It's written like he's greeting a buddy <laughs> on the street. Paimon thought he'd write something important. Linny is just like this. He he has to have like a nice line. It's I'm not surprised. If you say so, we can ask him what's going on tomorrow. Let's get some rest now. Hey, you're finally awake. Well, it's Paimon's first day as a prisoner. Last night, Paimon dreamed about getting interrogated by the guards until Paimon <laughs> told them everything, and then Paimon woke up. Hey, come on! It's just a dream, okay? Paimon wouldn't really squeal. Maybe. Why couldn't we leave hey, Paimon out of the prison? What are you still though? doing here? If you don't want to starve, then get yourselves over to the production zone. Uh, sorry, we're going right away. We literally just woke up, though. What? What does that even? We'll get to meet um, Lenny. Let's see. everyone could stay safe and healthy. Yeah, the vibes are no longer here. It's all gone now. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, what? The lift is also gone. What is that? It's even lower, is it? Ah, oh, it is. Why is everything so underground? Yeah. It's just endless. <laughs> oh, damn. Where's Linny? Did he say he'd meet us? Ah, you must be the catch of the day. Looks like you've got some luck getting assigned this space. Yep, we just arrived yesterday and... Don't interrupt me when I'm speaking. No, it's just underground. Yes, but we are in a new region, Listen right? Listen carefully to my instructions. I don't want any mishaps. Every machine here is worth more than the both of you. Working around these machines can be very dangerous. Do your job well and you can eat in the cafeteria after your shift. Get sloppy and you dine in the infirmary. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the Fortress of Merope doesn't want to lose a single one of its machines. And it also doesn't want to waste the production potential of any inmate. You got that? Got it! Okay. What Your is job Paimon is to use the gonna do over though? there to process widgets. Watch carefully, and make sure you step on the pedal at the right time. 
If the machine gets jammed, then give it a little maintenance with your fist. Here, take this. Bring me the process widgets, and I'll give you some credit coupons in exchange. Yeah, we can use the TP, yep. For the modeling process, you must place the unprocessed parts into the machine and then interact with the machine to start the challenge, okay? When some parts get stuck while rotating, it attack, okay? Okay, I think I'm not letting it process. this. Hmm. With the hammer? Oh, I think it's jammed, right? Are we supposed to jump on this? Oh, when it's yellow, jump on it. Okay, okay. Now it's jammed. When it gets yellow, I jump on it. Oh. Did it work? Okay, okay, got it. I beat it. And then when it turns yellow, I jump on it. That didn't happen. Huh. This one is tolerable. Though since the processing is done by machine, the product is all pretty much the same anyway. Alright, I'll pass you for now. And we'll count up how many credit coupons you've earned. Time to make money. <sighs> I'm exhausted. We're done now, right? Oh, that foreman. He's so scary that Paimon couldn't even speak. Ugh. Even though Paimon's starving and wants to head straight to the coupon cafeteria, we still need to meet Lenny first, right? He probably just finished up his work, too. He should be around here somewhere. Okay, let's keep looking for Lenny. Your luck isn't here. What? Consider it a gift from fate. Thank you for the sub, Derpy Show. Thank you, thank you. Okay, uh... Doesn't seem to be around here. Let's try looking somewhere else. Hmm, we gotta go up again. Ooh. What is that? Oh, never mind. Oh, credit coupons. Okay. For it. Every time my Amazon package arrives on time, consider it a gift from fate. True. Hmm. 
He's somewhere here, apparently. Where could he be? <sighs> Did he decide to slack up? Hi, Baku. Hello. Hey, over here. Oh. <gasps> oh, you scared Paimon. How did you appear out of nowhere like that? Oh, you scare so easily now? Is there something worrying you these days? Oh, you little... The only thing we're worried about was trying to find you. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Come over here and keep it down. Oh, Lynette! You're here too! You two really are inseparable. Them. That's right. My brother simply can't stand to be away from me. <laughs> uh, it's not just Lynette. Fremenet is also here. Do you still remember him? Oh. Oh! You mean that diver from the House of the Hearth, right? I don't remember seeing him in the Court of Fontaine before. We met him. Now, you can tell us. How did you end up as criminals this time? Court to prove you were innocent, but now it looks like our incredible court battle was for nothing! Sadly, even the teeniest of things can land you in prison these days. I put together a street performance and used the popularity we gained from the Opera House incident to attract a big crowd. And then? Next, I invited several audience members to participate in the show. And then, with the entire audience watching, their wallet suddenly disappeared. <laughs> My brother was charged with theft, and I was charged as his accomplice, having assisted him in his crime. Uh, it really isn't that bad. The missing wallets are all in the leftmost drawer of the Maison Guardianage's big filing cabinet. We just need to see how long it takes to discover them. Yep, we should be released then. In terms <laughs> of the magic trick itself, I think the performance went perfectly. <sighs> To Lenny to magic himself into prison. Yeah, what are you two really doing here? Indeed. Last time I hid my identity from you, I promised that I'd tell you absolutely everything if you were angry about it. No more secrets. So I don't plan on keeping anything from you this time either. At the moment, the House of the Hearth's interests don't conflict with yours at all. We were instructed by the father of our house, the Knave, to come here and conduct an investigation. <gasps> Told you so! See? Paimon guessed right! As for what we're investigating, perhaps you haven't heard, but the fortress of Meropede hides a secret. Some even say that the entire fortress exists just to protect Ooh. it. The House of the Hearth has been investigating this for a very long time, trying to uncover its mysteries. But recently, all of our informants, including the ones that have infiltrated the guards, suddenly vanished and have not been heard from since we mm. believe that this is a direct provocation and it's the reason why we came here they probably got dissolved right yeah why is the house so interested in this secret father has somehow managed to confirm that fossilors does not have fontaine's gnosis oh huh how did she manage to learn information that important father has her ways Many of them are beyond our imagination, and we've never had the chance to see her at work. But we trust her conclusions. It was this information that led us to suspect that Fontaine's Gnosis might be in the fortress of Meripede and is related to that secret. Why does Furina so not have it? The Gnosis again. Well, that's about it from our side. How about you two? Did Monsieur Nervulet send you here? Bingo! Applying a lot of pressure. She wants to know what happened to child, so we can't Why is Paimon telling Lenny? Uh Traveler, are we allowed to tell them? That's you should ask before. Can can Paimon be like can Paimon be a little smart sometimes? Maybe. I don't know. You don't need to worry too much about that. She's just asking for a report on Master Child's predicament as a means of pressuring you. Father used this situation as a pretext to negotiate with two yep. high-ranking officials in the court of Fontaine. She actually just wants to be able to make concessions on this matter for gains elsewhere. Almost like a bargaining chip. 
Sometimes you need an excuse to do things yep. you otherwise couldn't. And a harbinger is more valuable than you might imagine. Of course, it's not a complete farce. If we do manage to find out what happened to Master Child too, then diplomatic relations with Fontaine could improve, and Snezhnaya might even be able to adjust its stance a bit. Is it just Paimon? Or does it feel like we're the only ones who actually care about Child's situation? The relationship between the Harbingers must be as bad as ever. I wouldn't go that far. Father just has different standards than we do when it comes to what can be sacrificed for an advantage. Uh, by the way, I have a suggestion. Why don't we team up? Okay. Even though we have different objectives, we're both here to investigate the fortress of Meripede. It would be more efficient for us to work together. As you know, the House of the Hearth has many reasons to seek the Gnosis, but our highest priority remains resolving the prophesied crisis. You can trust us on that. <laughs> we refuse? Why, why can't we work with them? See, I told you. Why? Is that so? Hmm. Sure enough, it won't be easy to convince them to cooperate how, with us. How are we so concerned about Child, who is also from the Fatui, but we cannot tolerate Linny and Lynette? I don't get it. This makes no sense. Linny seems to be thinking pretty hard about something. Of course he is. Linny has been looking forward to a chance to reach an understanding with you ever since last we met. Or, I should say, we were really looking forward to teaming up with you this time. Lynette, just tell them everything, why don't you? <laughs> it's okay to open up a little. <laughs> Very prudent of you, and consistent with your behavior since we first met. That's reasonable enough, and I agree to cooperate on I these don't terms even as know. well. I was prepared for the worst, but you were actually more agreeable than I anticipated. <laughs> All right, then. There's no time to lose. I have some information to share, so listen carefully. Since Lynette and I arrived here, our investigation uncovered the fact that the Fortress of Meripede has a forbidden zone. Mm -hmm. Most people just clammed up and wouldn't talk, but after asking the right questions, we were able to confirm the existence of the forbidden zone from the guards. You should be aware of that while you're investigating. A forbidden zone? Oh, could that be where the child disappeared to? Mm. You're right, we'll definitely keep that in mind. Good. That's the most suspicious thing about the fortress that we know of so far. We have a few other unanswered questions, and we'll be investigating those as quickly as we can. Anyway, I hope you find our information useful at least. Yep. Oh, look at the time. You two <laughs> must be hungry. You should go to the coupon cafeteria and get something to eat. I'll use my cards to get in touch with you again in the future. Yep, we get oh, food that's now. That's what Paimon wanted to hear. Paimon's starving after all that work today. We can talk more about the investigation later. Let's go get some grub. What does it mean that Furina doesn't have the Gnosis, though? I mean, I guess it's in the Oratress, like the Gnosis itself. Why would it be here? Wait, also this is upstairs. How do we go up? Wait, this one goes... I just went up and down and up and Furita's first drip marketing pick, yes, it doesn't show her noses. Yep. It's very odd. It says even above that. Let's see, let's see. I thought I had to take the lift. <laughs> it's okay, we'll we'll go. 
it says above this also. Maybe there's another lift that I'm missing. Never mind. What is... Do we like swipe or something? I can't. What is this supposed to be? I'm going to see this later. See, but this goes down. I'm not going there. Way. I don't know what to do there. Feels like the Among Us card swipe thing. <laughs> this is telling me to go down again. But. But it's up. It's fine. Let's go where it takes us. It's okay. Down is up. I think there's another lift actually that I was missing. I see the. Yeah, there's another lift. I was on the wrong one. I'm I'm gonna stuck. Never mind. Are you coming? Oh it is okay. Even if an antique is priceless, the happiness it brings lasts for only the moment that you obtain it. We have the new commission system, right? Down is up, up is down. Yeah. Wait, what? Okay. Am I like done we with my commissions? Mora doesn't grow on trees. No need to do commissions, yup. That's so convenient. Ah, oh, this is one long lift. We got 10 plus 40. We didn't get 10 primos, we got 40 primos. Oh, he wasn't kidding. Today's meal is nowhere near as good as last time. Oh, who knows how long it'll be until we're lucky enough to get that super tasty meal again? Ah, forget about it then. We'll just deal with the regular food for the time being. Let's just get out of here as soon as possible. But life here doesn't seem all that bad. Other than the foreman being kind of mean and the work being pretty tiring. I didn't you work think so, though. mate? <laughs> if I had a coupon for every fish who said that. Seems you fishies still haven't learned your lessons from your life up on the surface. If you take things at face value, then by the time you reach a dead end, you won't even know how you ended up on that road in the first place. 
<laughs> I like your attitude. I can, uh, let you in on a little something. Everyone's been telling you to just follow the rules and not cause any trouble for yourself. Am I right? But what they don't tell you is that the rules aren't exactly what they pretend to be. The rules for being a prisoner. The truth is, this place has a lot of hidden rules. Mm-hmm. Huh? Hidden rules? What do you mean? Not everyone knows about those rules, but whether you know them or not, once you break one, you might encounter something even worse than death. Really? Oh, now you're really scaring poor Paimon. Don't joke around like that! Of course. And I'd say that just disappearing would be one of the better outcomes. Oh, you mean that if there really are hidden rules, then Kyle's disappearance might have something to do with that? Yeah, he probably broke the rules. Uh, in that case, would you tell us some hidden rules? We definitely want to avoid breaking them. <laughs> Come on, mate. This is valuable information. The difference between life and death. Do you really think you can just ask and I would tell you? Paimon understands, but we don't have many credit coupons yet. Yeah, yeah, I know. Not like I'm going anywhere. Just come talk to me after you've saved enough. Moreover, your new fish, freshly caught and completely out of your element. What'd be the point in even telling you anything before you've gotten a handle on your new lives? Come and find me once you've been here longer. I'm usually around the rag and bone shop. Just call me V-Doc. Bye bye now. Why did he come and tell us? This feels like a scam. He left. Just like that. Huh. Mm, yeah. Do you think he's just trying to scare us into buying fake information from him? Yeah. It might be a good place to start in our investigation. Hidden rules, huh? But, like he yeah, said, very we sus. don't have any coupons and we're still not familiar with this place. Oh, there's nothing we can do about it now. Ah, we were so busy talking, we almost forgot to eat. Even if it's not the best, it's probably better while it's warm. Come on, dig in before it gets cold. Ah, oh, now I gotta find... Find the lift again. <sighs> so what's an M battle? Yeah, I want to see that too. Did they release the wings bundle? Let's see. Mm. Maybe tomorrow? Um, not today, I guess. that our shift is set for every morning and we're free to do whatever we want all afternoon. But it seems like most of the other inmates choose to continue working through the afternoon to earn more credit coupons. Oh, and they also said that you can use coupons to skip work in the morning and free up your time. They weren't kidding. Credit coupons really can be used to do anything here. Ah, I'm so tired. 
and we'll need to wake up and go to work in the morning. Without any credit coupons, it's not like we can really do anything else. Hmm. Nighty night, Traveler. Paimon hopes we can keep making progress on our investigation tomorrow. Wheel noises? Someone's clapping. Is it because we have his vision? Are you awake, traveler? Hmm? What's wrong? You seem to have something on your mind. Did you dream about something last night? We're having dreams of child. Is that even possible? Unless it wasn't an ordinary dream? Oh, child's vision! So you had it with you this whole time? Maybe the vision connected child's consciousness to yours! Yeah, maybe we can see everything he saw. And our investigation has its first major breakthrough! Good thing you brought the vision with you here. So what did you see in the dream? Do you know where Child went? Huh. Okay. Well, hopefully it'll be a bit more helpful in the future. What's more important now is that it's the start of another new day as prisoners! Let's do our best to earn more credit coupons! What's the plan for today? Let's go! It's time to start working. If that guard Fielding catches us skulking about, he's sure to give us an earful. We gotta beat some more machines now. Look who decided to show up. Get your butts in gear and get to work. Time's a-wasting. Good, here you go. Remember to give me the widget once you've finished processing it. Okay, we gotta do this again. They're really making us work though, you know? Yep, it's Act 4. Oh, I'm on speed. But after so many shifts, it seems we're really <laughs> getting the hang of it now. Yeah, Paimon's never working and then she always says that she's so tired. I don't know what she did there. All you do is float around telling me what to do. <laughs> yes, the Traveler's had it. It's been three years and the Traveler is so done with this life. Hey there, fellow shift mates. I saw you finished your work, so I thought I'd come over and say hi. Oh, hey there! We've seen you before. Your assigned workspace is really close, isn't it? <laughs> That's right. The name's Rowan. This past few days, I couldn't help but notice the new faces working nearby. I guess we were destined to meet. I've been working here for almost 15 years. Even the foreman, Grainville, always calls me Chief. Mm -hmm. Whoa, you've been working here a long time, Chief. 
in other words you haven't managed any imp- okay that's so mean what has happened to the traveler look at this imagine meeting someone who's nice enough to come and talk to you and saying this lumin <laughs> if there's anything you'd like to know just ask me i know the work here in the production zone better than the back of my hand all right chief we'll be sure to come to you first <laughs> oh we mentioned the rules Did you, you just didn't like ask it about the rules yeah <laughs> pretty sharp for newcomers you've already heard about the rules huh who'd you hear it from hmm all right seeing as i'm the one who came over here you're already calling me chief i guess Good i call him chief. truth is you two keep working like this you might be putting yourselves in danger huh wait there's even a rule about that what would have happened if you never told us about this well, it's usually not that easy to break one on accident. The conditions of the hidden rules are usually pretty specific. But once you do break one, bad things happen. If you work continuously in the production zone for three days, and if all you do besides eating and sleeping is just work, then something bad will happen during lunch on the third day. Why? Huh? Like what? Oh, don't scare Paimon! <laughs> if I knew that... Then I wouldn't be standing here talking to you, now would I? Why though? What would happen? You mean, even you have never tried working three days like that before? There's actually a legend about this rule. A legend? They say that there was a worker who worked way harder than me. He was both efficient and eager on the job. Yep, productivity is bad. most other workers couldn't hold a candle to him. One time, he tried to test his limits and worked as long as he could. Then during lunch on the third day, Mm -hmm. He disappeared into thin air, as if he'd evaporated. Later, some people went and asked some of his past friends about him, but they said, never heard of the guy. They forgot him? What the? How could that happen? Unfortunately, we were assigned different production zones. I never saw for myself what he looked like. What? Wait, are you thinking that it was... Oh? You... Uh, listen, kid. This ain't the kind of thing you should be curious about. Let me tell you, you're better off forgetting about it and looking after yourself. <laughs> now I kind of regret ever telling you. Yeah, I agree with Chief here. Do you really want to try? Paimon, Paimon, be a little more imaginative, okay? First of all, nothing can happen to the Traveler. We're basically like a descender, right? <sighs> We're not even right. from Fontaine. What even? Whoa! Isn't this the super lucky meal? Looks like hard work really does get rewarded. Hyman's gonna take her time and save her every bite. What would you like to do this afternoon? Hmm. But Paimon really hopes the foreman will be in a better mood today. Is this the third day? Look who decided to show up. Get your butts in gear and get to work. Okay, Time's a waste okay. It. Good, here you go. Yeah, technically it is the third day, right? Let's see what happens. All right, Why are you allowed to working? And to
Let me have a look. Hmm, not bad. Okay. Oh, looks like we won't get a chance to sleep in as long as we're here. Let's get to bed early. Do the three days start now? Paimon doesn't want to get up. Paimon still feels completely exhausted from yesterday. But what did you do, ma'am? What ma for us? Complete while working the morning uh, shift. Apply for continuous working shifts with Greenwill. How do I do that? Well, Paimon really hopes the foreman will be in... Contin How do I do that again? Is there something I'm I already worked Look for three days? To show up. Get your butts in gear and get to work. Time's a wasted. Yeah, I'd like to apply for three continuous working days. Got uh -oh. it. What's with suddenly wanting to work so hard? You need coupons that badly? Yep. Sure. Let's just say we really want to test our limits. Okay, thank God they didn't make us work actually for three days. We did well today. Let's keep it up. <laughs> Damn, three days. Nice montage. I like it. Oh, Paimon's had it. Who knew that processing these widgets would be so tiring? Oh, that's it. Paimon doesn't even have the energy to talk anymore. Yep. Is it time to eat yet? Oh, we're so tired. We're not running anymore. I think people disappear because uh, they get exhausted, probably. That would make sense. Oh, Paimon's exhausted. It's just work, work, and more work. Paimon's little body can't handle this much longer. <gasps> Wait a sec. Now that Paimon thinks about it, <laughs> haven't we been working non-stop for three days now? Oh, Paimon feels a shiver going down her spine. What's going to happen? But it doesn't seem like anything's changed at all. And we made it to the coupon cafeteria safely. Are the so-called hidden rules only a rumor after all? Well, there's no use to just guessing all day. Paimon's stomach has been grumbling the whole time. Let's just eat already! Yep. Paimon wonders what we'll get today! Maybe we'll get the super... Wait! <gasps> what? Well, what in the world is this? What's with Paimon's food? And yours is the same! Is this stuff... meat? But it looks and feels so bizarre. It's what there's something wrong with it. Like this? What do you think is going on? Is this the bad thing that Rowan was talking about? Purple meteor. No, stop right there. Pinon gets what you mean. Just don't say it. Hey, isn't that Wolsey over there? He must have made the food, right? So let's just ask him about the food and be done with it. Hey, Wolsey, have a moment? Hmm? What is it? I'm about to go report the numbers for today's free meal, so you'd better make it quick. Uh, it's about the meat in our meals. Look, does it seem... normal to you? The meat? Oh, that. Looks perfectly fine to me. Totally normal. You better hurry up and chow down. The plot thickens for sure. Yeah, looks like we have no other choice. Paima was positively famished a minute ago, but now she's. But we gotta eat it, right? Appetite. What would you like to do this afternoon? 
Did they eat it? Since we have time now, let's focus on investigating some more. Okay. Oh, hello. You two are the ones who were with His Grace. No need to be so nervous. Sorry, I couldn't help but think of His Grace once I saw you, and I... Uh, well, it's hard to say. Maybe I am. He's got a very overwhelming presence. Mm -hmm. It makes me feel like I'm just some insignificant little bug. Wait, seriously? Who says well, Grace Risley? I'm indecisive, and I tend to make a mess of things. It's... Like a reflex, I just instantly start to tense up the moment I see a smart and capable person like His Grace. I get it, you want to take his place. What? P please, <laughs> don't say anything like that out loud. How could you possibly think something like that? Well, he did not tell us anything about the meat. No, we can't even talk to this person. Why is an Eremite in the bushes of Meropede? It's a bit odd. Let's go down. Yep, a Sumeru person. I guess it's an international jail then. <laughs> We're not the only ones who are not from Fontaine. Did we eat the meat though? Once up, oh. there was a glorious king. Yeah, we have. It is a bit difficult, the lift stuff. Plus, there are. I think there are three different lifts, right? One for the production zone, one for the dorm, and then like the separate floor for the. Cafeteria place. Paimon kept the meat in a pocket, maybe. For all we know. I see Siege Bean as well. Hey, it's the traveler and Paimon. <laughs> no need to tease me, okay? I won't trip on the same step twice. Listen, I feel ashamed about last time. Thank you for praising me in front of his grace. Here are the extra credit coupons he gave me. No. I'd like you to have them. No, we don't need them. But huh? also, it's okay. No, we couldn't take them. They're your reward after all. But when I was welcoming you, I didn't do anything but give you the stink eye. <sighs> Come on, I insist. These coupons are nothing compared to... I think we just have them. Getting the attention of his grace. I won't take no for an answer. <laughs> Okay. Siege Wing? Aren't you supposed to be in the infirmary? What are you doing in the production zone? Hello, traveler. Paimon? Everyone's He's so adorable. Busy now, and we don't have any patients to look after in the infirmary. I thought I'd come here and enjoy the sight of everyone hard at work. Enjoy? Oh, uh, what's there to enjoy here? It's really worth watching. I often stand here and observe everyone. Humans are just so interesting and adorable. I like to watch your expressions while you work. Uh, <laughs> are you talking about pets or people? Oh, I can see why you think that, but you shouldn't jump to conclusions. See, we Melazines are a different species, and we see the world very differently from humans. It's very easy for me to observe everyone's condition. All it takes is one look, and I can tell which workers are exhausted. Wait, 
Melazines can see that? Huh. That does sound useful for being a nurse. <sighs> yes. Running around tending to everyone's health is very fulfilling. But I'd much prefer it if you're all happy and free from exhaustion and pain in the first place. Take care of your body and make sure you eat well. Always rest when you're tired from work and don't push yourself too hard. We'll definitely take care of ourselves. Thanks for the reminder. What clue did we get? Wait, okay, okay. Ah, she could tell us about someone's health, I guess. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, next. We need to go up again. Yeah, the lifts uh, are a bit confusing, but it's okay. We'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, this one goes up, right? This place is pretty big, yes. And you have to go everywhere using the lift. Also, I literally cannot see because I haven't unlocked this. When will you take break? I won't. I'm I'm I woke up early to do the quest, man. Why will I take a break? Okay, we need Where is the other lift now? Oh no. We have to go down and get the right lift now. Yep. No breaks in this prison, exactly. Don't waste my time. Wait, now it says to go up, is it? I'm so confused. Give up. It's okay, we'll figure it out. No, no, no. Wait, I just like lost where I was meant to go. Oh, how many lifts are there? We got only one of the clues, right? Siegeween's clue wasn't for this. Hmm. I feel like if we just ate the meat, then we would know more. <laughs> but then we didn't. I think we're on the right way.
Wonderful. I was worried that you'd be busy trying to earn reward coupons all the time, but it seems like you haven't neglected your investigation work after all. Paimon likes having more coupons, but no one wants to work all the time. Have you also been investigating the area, Lynette? No, I was just slacking off, and you happened to catch me. <laughs> How's Lenny holding up? My brother is still obsessed with anything remotely related to the Forbidden Zone. But knowing him, it won't be long before we get more leads. Oh, before I forget, this is for you. Huh? Credit coupons? Why are you giving us these? I've been here longer than you. Coupons aren't a resource in particularly short supply. What is in short supply are interesting people to talk with. Aw, that's so nice of you, Lynette. We'll be sure to make good use of these coupons then. Thanks a bunch! We got more coupons, okay. We still... We'll be talking to them. Okay, maybe this guy? like a research notebook. That suspicious guy peeking into the infirmary just now. Are they a fan of Sea Dream? He must have dropped this. Let Paimon read it real quick. The Melisi perceive the world very differently from humans. There are significant deviations. As a result, their sense of aesthetics and beauty is also very different from that of humans. This must be taken into consideration when giving gifts. Whoa, this all sounds pretty serious. He sure did his homework. And as for the notebook, let's take it. Hmm. How does this help us though? Oh. No, this is the Archon quest. It's not an event. What do you mean? I don't see anything here. Do we have to climb the pipes, is it? Oh. Huh? Rowan? Uh, what are you doing here, Chief? Oh, uh, I was injured a bit just now. Nothing major, I think I just pulled something. A little mishaps like this are unavoidable at work, you know? as experienced as the chief would still get hurt on the job. I just knew you would say that. This is pretty embarrassing. Uh, where is Siegeween when you need her anyway? The one time I need to make a quick trip to the infirmary. Oh, you mean she wasn't in the infirmary? Yeah. The rumors say that there's never anybody in the infirmary in the half hour before lunch. And nobody knows where Siege Wing gets off to. Hmm. She's always absent during lunch. Maybe she had something to do. Huh. That's actually really strange. Siege Wing's always super dedicated to her work. Where else would she possibly go? <sighs> Forget it. I can take care of a small sprain like this on my own anyway. No need to trouble her. I 
don't know. It feels like a useless lead, though. It's not like Siege Bean is responsible for anything, right? Yeah, we should rest. Okay, you should rest up. We'll be back at it tomorrow. So after working a few days straight... Hmm. We got some strange meat in our lunch. What was that all about? We don't hmm. know. Has our investigation turned up anything useful recently? Really? And it looks like that part of the investigation has hit a dead end. Well, we'll keep searching for more clues tomorrow. Good night, Trap. <sighs> the dawn of a new day. Paimon feels like we're getting used to life as convicts. Uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? What do you have planned for us? Choose to go to the Oh, we didn't we haven't gone there yet, right? The fighting place. Why? After but we've already so worked there. We're really starting to get the hang of it. But doing the same thing all the time can get old pretty quickly. How are you holding up? Yeah, it's good to kick back and relax. Afternoon. Yes, let's go to the ring. Maybe we'll be able to find some leads there. I guess we didn't eat that day, no? We just kept the meat as evidence instead of eating it. Thing that did <laughs> clearly that's the thing that's causing people to like disappear, right? I I doubt it. She literally saw it and lost her appetite, so probably not. Oh, you must be the traveler, huh? Sorry, mate, but uh. Competitors as strong as you are prohibited from participating. Oh. I don't make the rules, mind you, but I was given very specific instructions. Even convicts value their lives, don't they? I hope you can understand. <laughs> <laughs> but we have a game here that'll let you show off your strength, and you'll even earn some credit coupons in the process. What do you think? And if we lose the game, will it cost us credit coupons? Of course. That's the cruel reality facing every competitor in a place like the Pancration Ring. Okay, we'll give it a try. Okay, great. Let me walk you through the rules. The targets in front of you will pop up one after another. You'll need to hit the targets in the same order that they popped up. <laughs> if you can complete a few rounds in a row with no mistakes, then you'll win credit coupons. For the second I would. Uh, can order, I pick fighting lose, over this? Game over. 
The game costs 300 credit coupons to have it go. So, you up for it? Thanks for your patronage, mate. Now, let the game begin. Why can't we just fight? Okay, the targets will come up in order. When the targeting light turns blue, you must attack the targets in the order in which they came up. Successfully following her four times. Oh my god. Wait, let me shift to Benny. Okay, do your best to hit the targets. Just like Colin said. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Your strength really shouldn't be underestimated. Now I get why you're prohibited from participating in any official I mean, fights. this wasn't really strength, Nobody but Nobody who okay. values their life would be willing to get in the ring with you. Mm. However, you two haven't tried betting on the outcome of a Pancration match yet, have you? Well, they're making us Just go bet talk to Rusev, now. Buy a ticket for whichever fighter you think will win. There's a big payout if the fighter you support comes out on top. But we don't know anything about the fighters. How can we possibly know who to support? That's normal. Just watch a few matches and get a feel for the fighters. It won't be long before you can pick winners in your sleep. He's got a point. Why don't we give it a try? If we have enough coupons, we can probably bet at random until we figure everything out. Huh. Bet at random, huh? Uh, well, how should I put it? Uh, it's not like you can't do that, but I'd advise you to give it some more thought first. Huh? We shouldn't get too carried away. What's the problem? There's some sort of rule here, perhaps? I... Never even picked a boxer before, and you already know about the rules? You're not just strong fighters. Seems you're pretty perceptive, too. Uh, might as well tell you about it, since you already know that much. Plus, I think you've got the potential to be one of my greatest customers. I think I can let you in a bit. Besides, I don't want to risk ever losing a customer like you. Uh, is it that serious? Okay. The hidden rule here is, if you buy both boxers' tickets and support them both, something bad will happen the next morning. Oh. So, the rule is that we shouldn't pick both boxers in the same fight, but if anyone actually did that, wouldn't they be guaranteed to lose coupons? Who would do that anyway? And what do you mean by something bad will happen? We'll get bad meat again. How would I know? Not like I'm stupid enough to do that. Why does no one well, try to break the rules? About the rule. According to the rumor, there was a masked boxer who possessed incredible skill and power. None of his opponents even stood a chance against him. <laughs> However, in the final match, the organizer told look like him Gecko. to take off his mask. He refused. I never showed up to the fight. And mm. after that, he was never seen again. Some say he died, or that he was taken care of by the event's organizers. But everyone remembers that he was someone who cherished honor above all else. In his eyes, supporting both boxers in a match would dishonor the competition itself. So you mean, it's like, a curse? He'll take vengeance on anyone who does that? What does he look like? Yeah. No, he was always wearing a mask, like he was intentionally trying to hide his identity. I don't even know anything about his past. Traveler, do you think that boxer was? Ooh. Huh? We will? You're not serious, 
Are you? Look, here I was just trying to be nice and warn you, yet here you are trying to break it on purpose? Yeah, it sounds pretty scary to Paimon. Uh, seems you've made up your mind. Just be sure to protect Paimon, okay? Betting on both fighters will set you back about 3,000 credit coupons. If you have I do enough, have enough. Then go ahead and give it a try. Just don't come running back to me if something happens. I know Child wears a mask, but I thought, I don't know, could it be him? Because he disappeared as well. Yeah, we woke up so early today that Paimon's been nodding off all afternoon. Good thing it's finally time for bed. Child, but with Delulu, Paimon maybe. Paimon doesn't want to get up. Paimon still feels completely exhausted from yesterday. What do you have planned for us? Okay, let's go. After working here so long, we're really starting to... But doing the same thing all the time can get old. Yeah. This thing goes the same way, right? here to buy tickets better be quick about it another match is about to start who are the boxers in the next round we have the reigning champ le grappler versus a contender from the eastern prison block demon horde are those their nicknames or did they <laughs> choose those names themselves either way super weird uh, since you're new around here i'll help you out and give you a little suggestion even though le grappler is the crowd favorite Demon Horde is a first-class dark horse with incredible potential. Anyway, for this match, I recommend that you pick... We'll buy both tickets, yes. Huh? B for both fighters? Uh, I could tell you're new to this, but I didn't think you were completely clueless. Maybe you don't he quite thinks understand we're clueless. the rules, no? Let me try to explain again for you more clearly. Oh, no need, no need. Um, we're all that we're going to lose coupons. All right then, if you're absolutely sure. Remember, no refunds once you buy the tickets. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Just shut up and take our coupons. He does sound like Aston. I agree. Why are we back at the dormitory? We had an effective day. Hope we can make even more progress tomorrow. Why did why did the day end? I thought we'd see the fight like now. Hey traveler, buy mon. Package here for you. The next time you buy something, go pick it up yourself. I'm not a delivery man, you know. Well, how do we have packages in a prison? Uh, a package? For us? Did you buy Wait awake yet, so why don't you go take a look? Did Lenny send it? Did Navalette send it? Oh, right! Yesterday we broke the hidden rule and bought tickets for both boxers. Oh, maybe this package is the bad thing that Colin said would happen. Huh? Paimon suddenly feels wide awake. Wait, maybe you let Paimon go hide somewhere first. Just call Paimon after you opened it. Hey, wait! Hmm, there's something a little odd inside. Huh? What is it? Are you 
you okay? Uh, let Paimon take a peek too. Is that blood? Oh, it's just a small bottle. But the color of the liquid inside looks so wrong. Almost like... Alright, that's enough of that. No need to say it out loud. Paimon already knows what you're trying to say. Do you want to give it a sniff? <laughs> no way! Get that stuff away from Paimon! <laughs> uh, Paimon thinks we shouldn't open the bottle until we figured out what's going on. Just trust Paimon Blood on this one, okay? Blood true. Blood colored liquid. Maybe it's it's blood colored, not actually blood though. That's possible, right? It's just true of some maybe. What do you have planned for us? Yeah, well, let's it investigate. Feels nice to slack off a little. Less work means less coupons. Let's make the most of our morning. Oh my god, that was so risky. <laughs> Almost dead there. I'm glad we didn't die. Uh, if there's no way to send it all out, maybe I'll never get a chance to leave. Uh, who are you? We've never seen you before, and you don't look like a fellow convict. Uh, I I'm not. <laughs> of course I'm not. Please. Don't mistake me for a criminal. Promoter. Law-abiding citizen. Then what are you doing here? You sure seem anxious about something. I'm a promoter for Fontico, and I'm usually responsible for promoting our drink products. I thought I could complete my task here quickly and return to headquarters, but I've been here way longer than I anticipated. Oh, a promoter from Fontico? So what kind of problem did you run into? I guess that uh, was Fanta. I'm so upset. It's all because of that Duke. After discussing the company's promotional plans with him, he told me outright that my project was worthless. However, in light of our long history of successful collaboration, I still tried to patiently explain the details. However, to my surprise, he just cut me off while I was speaking. <clears throat> Let me take a moment and recall his exact words. I'm just gonna stop you there and say no. <laughs> if anything, I'm saving you time. It seems you don't fully understand the value of credit coupons here, nor do you understand the value of your own products. The former is because you are from the overworld. That's understandable, and I don't blame you for that. But as for the latter, only someone monumentally stupid, so breathtakingly stupid that they were completely ignorant of the value of credit coupons, despite living in the underworld, would ever possibly consider buying your drink. Let's just forget it. <sighs> anyway, that's how he rejected my proposal and asked me to come up with another solution with the condition that it doesn't cause any trouble for him. Can you believe that guy? Uh... He is the head honcho here. Not much you can do about that. We met him too and could tell that he's the kind of guy that's hard to pin down. Fine, fine. I know, I should just let it go. I'm on his turf after all. His house, his rules. Yep. Could it be Red Fonta then? Hmm, maybe not. Every page 
which has the Fontico symbol on it. Maybe it's some flyers from the company. Yeah, let's take a look before anyone else shows up. Uh, okay. But if someone catches us, they could accuse us of trying to steal the company's secrets, couldn't they? <laughs> We're already criminals, true. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Guess there's nothing to worry about then. Let Paimon have a look here. Without assistance from the Fontaine Research Institute, development of the new product has been slow, and some researchers on the project have voiced concerns. We have no choice but to let the new product undergo the first phase of promotional trials without a designated name or packaging. We will adjust the direction of future development according to feedback. We have decided to only conduct closed, small-scale trials for the time being. Sure doesn't seem like anything unusual. The company is just trying to develop some new products besides Fanta. But it sounds like things aren't going well at all. Uh, let's put these papers back where we found them and make it look like nobody went through them. Okay, <laughs> good. Okay. They're starting a new trial of an as yet unnamed and unpackaged product, which is the package we received, probably. The product has to undergo a trial because even Fonta Zone and employees have a lot of reservations about it. It looks like blood. That would make sense. Off we go. Hey, I, I heard you crazy fools really did it. You bought tickets to support both fighters, didn't you? Well, I. Did anything happen? Well, the next day we received a mysterious package, but we still haven't made any sense of the contents. So it is real. You didn't become cursed or anything like that, did you? Are you both still okay? Wait, are you sure that it's still you controlling your bodies right now? Uh, Paimon's not sure. <laughs> what do you think, Traveler? Is Paimon still Paimon? Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Hmm. Yeah, you two don't seem to have changed at all. But I wouldn't let your guard down just yet. Mm. Still, I didn't expect you would actually do it. You'd actually throw away coupons like that just to satisfy your curiosity? Mm -hmm. Even if we bought tickets like everybody else, it's not like we could hope to earn any coupons. When it comes to things like this, it's always the organizer who makes the real profits. Hey, just what are you trying to imply? <laughs> the Pancration Ring is an honest business, and we really don't make much from selling tickets. We make so little that even the current tournaments can only be held thanks to funding from the producer of Fanta. Fanta oh, is so the it's producer. The that manufactures Fanta sponsoring the events? Paimon thought all of this was thanks to the Duke's support. Let's just say it's a mutually beneficial arrangement. They reached out to us first. Hoping to promote Fanta products in the forges of Meropede. Uh, anyway, you try and take extra good care of yourselves these next few days, you hear? The build up is so big, what I wonder what the payoff is gonna be like. Adventure time! Let's go. Let's end the shift here. All right. But remember that we bought this time with coupons, so let's make better use of it next time. Oh. 
Just a regular meal set. Guess Paimon shouldn't get her hopes up. What would you like to do this afternoon? Hmm. Let's go investigate. I don't think there are many more clues to be found here. Perhaps we could check. Okay. Seems you're really getting the hang of things at the Pancration Ring mm -hmm. now. But just playing the same game over and over? It's getting kind of tiring. Maybe there's yeah. another way. Why don't we have Collins lower the difficulty a little? You know, so we can just breeze through each level. A mysterious box? A bottle of crimson liquid? Oh, Simon still doesn't know what to make of it. Wait, it is blood? Is it Elinus's blood? Oh my god, I didn't think of that. It doesn't have to be human blood, right? Oh, that makes a lot of sense. They're trying to convert people, right? Then, because if you give, if you administer the blood to others, they'll start becoming, as we've seen, at least with Jacob. Perhaps that is what it is. That's very... When she said crimson liquid, it still, like, hit me. I should have thought of that before. I think I've got something. Really? Uh, well, maybe we'll have... Okay. Okay, so we've investigated two of the hidden rules. Paimon <sighs> didn't think this prison would have so many weird things going on. We'd better pick up the pace with our investigation, otherwise we'll never get anywhere. Yeah, let's skip work for now and put our time to good use. Lost in deep seas, okay. He did say if we learn two of the rules, we can come ah, and approach him. Seeing you at this time must mean you've already saved up a lot of credit coupons. Or at least enough to skip work. <laughs> Seems you're getting into the swing of things around here. Yep, we're getting by. Impressive. Very impressive. So, now can you tell us about the hidden rules you know? Hmm. If that's what you want to know. I guess you couldn't have come at a better time. Huh? What do you mean it's a good time? Leonid and those other pesky broke urchins have all gone to work in the production zone. I wouldn't want them listening in without paying up. We get it! Just tell us already! So, you know those pipes that make strange sounds? Don't ever, ever go near them at night. Even if you manage to avoid the guards, you might find something even more terrible there. Something even more terrible? Like what? A group of cannibals. What? Cannibals? In the Fortress of Meripede? Every month, oh. they meet a few times in the dead of night. Rumor has it they might be connected to the people that have disappeared here. Uh. Uh. I'm sorry. What's even scarier is that they have a special proclivity. Since they have no way to dispose of the leftover remains, they have ways to transform them into other forms and keep them in the fortress forever. Uh, Paima might already know what you mean by other forms. Mm. So that's what's going on here. Yeah, I feel like puking oh, too. Paimon's stomach doesn't feel so good. Yeah, the purple beat was 
Uh, no. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Is that really true? Yeah. <laughs> you two look pretty skeptical. No matter. Learning the truth behind dark secrets isn't necessarily a good thing. I've got things to do too. I suggest you just act like I never told you anything. What, what are we playing? Traveler, can we just trust him on this one? Oh, Paimon doesn't want her blood and flesh entombed here for all eternity. Do you think, do you really think cannibals would take me in a fight? And, uh, I mean... So that's how you see the situation. Huh. You know, Paimon does feel a little better about it now. Oh, what has happened to Genshin? Vito <laughs> isn't here. But the guy at your service. <laughs> Just stay away from me. Okay. Wow, they're so sweet. What? What are you saying? You shouldn't go around saying stuff like that. Now maybe we shouldn't just tell people that there are cannibals. What are you talking about? Listen, you should keep your nose out of other people's business. You just got told off by everyone. What is this? Hmm. Their attitude sure is suspicious. Like they're trying to avoid us. Could they be connected to the cannibals? But if they're being so obvious about acting weirdly, do you think they might just be trying to lure us in both of us oh, don't even look getting way too creepy for paimon are we even the target audience for like cannibals though paimon isn't human and the traveler isn't human either so do they even want us imagine if these three are the only three cannibals stop it i'm just hoping this is a joke okay i don't like this cannibal plot it's weird so you mean we still need to investigate some more? Okay, if you say so. I don't know, I just feel so weird right now. I feel really uh, about this. How do I go up now? Okay, take me to the lift, please. Like, this is honestly so unexpected. How have the Fontaine quests been like this? Like, whenever you think, oh, it's 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 maybe gonna be some average plot point, right? And then they they'll bring up stuff like this. Oh. Not the fucking cannibals. Yeah, it's getting very dark. I'm scared. What more are we going to see in this world? I don't know. Okay. This guy hates us. Surely he'll tell us something. What do you want? Criminals like you ought to be working right now. Catch my drift. We just want to ask you a simple question. Have you ever discovered anything odd during your nighttime patrols? Are you asking about something like that? Whatever happens at night isn't your concern. All you need to worry about is getting enough sleep. Uh, well... I don't want to be mean, but Fielding has way too much attitude for someone with a freaking bowl cut. Maybe he can answer our questions without acting like this. I don't know. Right! We heard it happens a few times every month. Paimon has sensitive ears, so it makes it hard to sleep. Really? I see. Uh, but it's not but like I'm on duty cannibal. every night. And now that you mention it, I recall my colleagues talking about something like that before. They say that strange things tend to happen at night on pipe cleaning days. Lots of us don't willingly take those shifts. So weird. So, what happens at night on pipe cleaning days? And they just conduct regular cleaning of the fortress's drainage facilities. There are three pipe cleaning days per month, and it just so happens that today is one of the scheduled days. You can try to confirm the sounds tonight if you want, and if they're real, then I can report the issue to my superiors for you. Oh, okay. Then we'll keep both ears out 
tonight. Now, if that's all, then I'll be leaving now. I advise you not to try anything funny, though. Even if I'm not on duty tonight, someone will still be watching you. Don't worry, we don't want any time added to our sentences. <laughs> what are we gonna find yeah. out? So what do you think about the pipe cleaning days he mentioned? Those might be the days when the cannibals are active. Alright, both are a possibility. But Fielding did say that tonight is a cleaning night. Paimon knew you would say that. Alright, sounds like we'll be up all night tonight then. Paimon just I think Weedock is the cannibal, by the way. He's weird. And get a good vibe from that guy. Let's go rest. Oh, I'm so tired. But we can't sleep yet. They'll be cleaning the pipes tonight, so it's the perfect chance for us to investigate. If we miss our chance tonight, yeah. <sighs> Whatever. Just be sure to wake Paimon if she dozes off. I feel like we should. Something might happen if you go alone. Huh? Oh. Traveler? Did you fall asleep already? Oh, we're back in child's memories. Did they try to eat him? The whale is calling him. Yeah, that's the three we talked to. Yep. Who knew, Come apparently. On, wake up! Wake up! Oh, it looks like you were just peacefully sleeping, the Paimon. Well, what did you see this time? Child escaped while the pipes. Really? So we're finally starting to figure out what actually happened. But what about the cannibals? How do you explain them? Okay, well, it's about time for us to get moving. Just be careful to avoid the patrolling guards. Okay, let's go. To where the rumored pipes are. Wow, he just left. He just left when we arrived. Wow, how convenient. I miss so many noises. How do the guards not, like, hear me? Oh, let's take the frog. They're here again? What? I know you. You were the ones we saw. Huh. You've got guts showing up here. You know who we are, right? Yeah. You better leave now. Ain't nobody coming here to save you. They're the cannibals? What you say? Oh, see, it was a rumor. <gasps> Thank God. Yeah, so what if they were? If you push us, we can make those rumors a reality at any time. What kind of a threat is this? Like, what, I'll eat you? We can make the rumor, like... If you push me, I'll I'll eat you. Look at his face. Oh. Hey, what's the point of all those rumors anyway? What exactly are you trying to do? 
I don't have to tell you anything. If you turn around, go back to the dormitories and act like you never saw anything, then I'll pretend that you never showed up here. Yeah, scram. Nothing worth seeing here. There's something calling me. Huh? What did you say? Isn't that exactly what boss said when he left? Boss! Hey, do you know our boss? B the boss of these pretend cannibals is child. I love it. Wow. Whoa. We had no idea our boss was such a big deal. He always kept his identity a secret. So, did he have you come here to find us? Oh, so your child's crew here? Seems like he had no problem fitting in. We're the only ones who heard him say those words when he left that night. So, unless he somehow told you those exact same words after that... Hmm. All right. I guess that's proof enough for me. I believe you. Wow. Yep, he made a gang inside of prison. <laughs> We gave him the business for a while, and would always give him a hard time when he first came to the Fortress of Meripede. But here in the Fortress, the strong will always earn respect. He was working the longest hours and racking up wins in the Pancration Ring. You could always see how amazing he was, even when he was teaching us a lesson. So eventually, he just love him. decided to follow him. Wow. But one day, he suddenly told us that he had to find a way to escape this place, no matter the cost. He said it was because he heard that call again. And as his crew, if the boss wants something, then it's our job to get it done. So, we got to work and use the hidden rules that were here to make up and spread the rumor about the cannibal rule. We just wanted to give him a better chance of escaping on a night after the pipes had been cleaned. Oh, thanks to your rumor, nobody would want to come anywhere near here, prisoner or guard. Wow. It sure is easy to exploit people's fear of the unknown. Mm -hmm. But has a child already escaped? Why are you all still coming here after pipe cleaning day? Because as far as we know, the pipe he went into isn't actually an exit. It should be a dead end. It leads to an abandoned factory area. And even if there were a way to escape from there into the sea, we're still way too deep. No one could ever reach the surface alive. But boss still insisted on going in, it's like he was obsessed about it. So we told him that we'd pretend as if he never existed while he was gone. And that if he wanted to come back, he should wait for night time on a pipe cleaning day. That way, we could meet him here and help cover the whole thing up. So you come and wait here through the night a few times a month just because of that promise? Yeah... But it's been so long now. We already know in our hearts that he must have managed to escape somehow. Would he have? Uh, is it also possible that something Paimon. unfortunate happened to him? Paimon, shut up. Nothing could ever defeat Boss or slow him down. It's one thing we know for sure. Okay, okay. Paimon was just brainstorming possibilities. All right. Keep quiet and follow us. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go and find out. The way up from here has been sealed off. It's impossible to get through. Boss left by going down from here. It uh, wasn't full of water at the time. Later, we came back hoping to have a look. That's when we found out it had been completely flooded. It's impossible to navigate unless you're an extremely skilled diver. Do you think Child got trapped by the water? Not likely. We all know that Boss was an incredible swimmer. I know a good diver. We, we're gonna get Fremini. Really? Then have him come investigate. Pronto. Just be sure to tell us if you get any news about Boss. It's getting late. We should leave before the guards come this way. Yeah, we learned a lot about what happened to Child here. Let's get going! Whew. We finally learned some key information! Seems all of our investigative work has finally started to pay off! 
When you said you knew a diver, you were talking about Fremine, right? If we ask Linny, he'll definitely have Fremine help us. Ugh. Why is Child like this? What was he doing going into the pipes? Not making our jobs easier, that's for sure. Fortunately, though, it seems like it's only a matter of time now before we find out what really happened. Now that we can finally relax, Paimon's starting to feel super sleepy. Okay, we're done with Act 3. Uh, it's morning already? Paimon oh, still needs more sleep. Okay, chat will stop. We'll continue it uh, after.